Hi, I'm Sante Getty, Director of Government Relations for COSI, and I'm fortunate to be joined today with Cuyahoga County Councilman Dave Greenspan. The Councilman had the opportunity to uh, uh, speak with our COSI Advocacy Committee, a committee that formulates decisions as it relates to public policy. Uh, again, we're fortunate to have the Councilman here, and he himself is a small business owner, and I wonder if you'd talk a little bit about your experience as a small business owner. Sure. Well, you know, I started uh, realizing out of college I need to get a solid business foundation, so I earned a degree in accounting and worked in a small accounting firm. Got exposed to almost every aspect of, of business, uh, the business cycle from a uh, financial perspective. Decided at some point in my career I need to get an operational background as well because you can't understand, in my opinion, the operations of a business without understanding the financial implications of your decisions and vice versa. You can't understand the finances without understanding the operations. So one of the things that I focused on in my career was, was uh, broadening my experiences and uh, that served me well. I was able to serve in, in, in every sea level capacity uh, in various businesses from broadcasting to technology, uh, public and private companies. I was fortunate to take two companies public through a reverse merger strategy and uh, was successful in, in both those endeavors. And uh, has taken, I've taken that experience primarily nearly for uh, the last 20 years in startup companies and turnaround ventures, which is very rewarding, a lot of highs. Unfortunately, there are some lows, and you hope the valleys in between aren't very big. Sure. Well, one of the things you know as a company of one at that point, or, or uh, now, uh, is that access to capital can be a, a huge challenge uh, for small businesses. The great majority of cozy small businesses have less than 10 employees. One of the things the councilman spoke a lot about today was econ economic development, progress, challenges, solutions. Can you talk a little bit about that at the county level and some of the sure. things you're working on? Well, and the charter is very specific in the sense that we were required to focus on economic development. And one of the remarkable items that our county was able to do is create an economic development fund. And there are 11 funds within, within the fund itself. And they focus on business uh, micro loans from $5,000 to large scale attraction loans up to $3 million and everything in between. And so we've taken an active role in providing resources, financial resources for businesses. Not every business qualifies, obviously. Um, we're, we're a little more forgiving than a traditional bank, a traditional lender, insofar as our criteria, but we still need to secure the public dollars are going to be invested properly and that there's going to be a rate of return back to the county because these are not by and large grants. So we are providing an opportunity. One of the deficiencies I think our county government has, has, has fallen into is not being proactive in outsourcing and going after businesses in promoting what we're doing, whether that be attracting new businesses to our region or promoting what we offer to our existing businesses. I can tell you in my district, in my five cities, we have spoken and taken the show on the road, so to speak, and met with every chamber to let them know the opportunities that the county is offering. And, um, and we're going to continue to do that, but I believe, or I'm going to continue to do that, but I believe the county as we move forward into the next administration should take a much more progressive and um, aggressive stand in going after businesses, finding out what they need, not only from a financial perspective, but from a human capital perspective, from a fiscal plan perspective. What can we do to help you be successful? That should be our mission because at the end of the day, county government doesn't manufacture a thing. Mm -hmm. We're here to provide an opportunity for businesses to be successful and to provide what resources we can within the scope of, of, of the law to encourage and enhance business activity. Councilman, thank you for being with us here sure, today. Thank you.